Today on Behind the Visor I am joined by Eduardo Mortara, the DTM driver for Mercedes who is currently competing for the 2018 title. This season he raced in Formula E which he picked up a podium earlier on in the season. On his way to DTM he's won many championships including the Audi Cup and also the Formula 3 European Series. I talked to Eduardo about his career and how he made it all the way to the top to DTM and he gives me some advice about what I should do in my opening race in motorsport next year. So today's episode of Behind the Visor is with Mercedes DTM driver Eduardo Mortara. Hello everyone, uh, today we're here with Mercedes DTM driver Eduardo Mortara. Um, I'm going to ask you a bit about your career. Also, a bit of advice from me about getting into a car. First question was, growing up, did you have an idol? Is there someone you looked up to as a, a motorsport fan? Uh, an I, I wouldn't, I wouldn't say an, an idol, but I mean, uh, obviously, you know, when you're uh, when you're young, you you look, you're obviously looking at you know the professional racing series and uh, uh, like Formula One or uh, these kind of like championships, and uh, you, I mean, the top guys are for sure examples for you, uh, especially when you're racing like in karting formulas or whatever so yeah not anyone in particular but you know just people that you looked up the admiral you know you looked at them as people to no one really in particular would no. say no. okay so my first, uh, second question was then when you stepped into go-karts did you have the support of your family were they you know did they want you to get into karts or they thought oh, that's a bit dangerous yeah, i mean obviously you need to have the support of uh, you know of your parents you know if you if you want to start motorsport and the end karting uh, so yeah, I mean they they were they were supporting me when I was, I mean since I was uh, eight, mm. uh, yeah, and and you know for the first races, the <laughs> first uh, the first experience with with, with rental go karts, they were they were there with me. I was like quite young, I was mm. seven eight. Uh, so yeah, without for sure you know their help, I wouldn't be here. No. So was the transition from go karts to sort of proper racing cars like Formula Threes, for example, was that a big jump, or was was it quite natural for you? Um, yeah. So I mean, um, motors, the common, let's say, motorsport school is uh, is is karting. Uh, I did quite a lot of years there. Um, teaches you how to race, how to set up. Mm. Uh, your card, let's say, and it's, it's a bit, you know, the, the base, and then, and then, yes, you're going, f you, you're going to cars, and it's a complete, uh, uh, you know, it's, it's a, it's a quite big step. It's a completely, not completely different, but like almost. And uh, obviously, you need to learn new stuff <laughs> um, on top of what you've learned already in, in karting. So was the was it quite hard to make a name for yourself in the world of most sports? There are so many people that want to be a racing driver, but you know only a few like yourself that actually make it as a, a job. Yeah, I mean uh, it's definitely difficult. I mean it's the reason why n not all the let's say karting guys and Formula guys are are um, are becoming professionals, and it's uh, yeah obviously it goes like uh, yeah through doing results and uh, like in important championships and. Uh, uh, yeah, obviously you need to be competitive. I was able to win to win the Formula Three European Championship, the sort of like World Cup uh, in in Macau twice. So that helped me quite a lot in 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 my career. So yeah, was that your standout moment in your career so far? Was it winning Macau or winning the Formula Three Championship? I, I had the chance also to win, to win other other things and uh, all the major, let's say, important victories are. Are all important for me. They are. I wouldn't say that there is one in particular. You know that I would say. Uh, yeah, is it's more important than the other one. I mean, it's, yeah. yeah. They, they all made you the driver you are today. Yeah, for sure. I mean, and in motorsport, you know, it's it's so difficult, you know, to win that when when it happens, you know, you're you're yeah, you're overjoyed. Yeah. yeah. So I'm going to be attempting my first race in a car soon. How important is getting out on track and just driving anything important to, to you know becoming a better driver? Um, yeah, I mean, definitely, you know, it's it's not gonna be it's not gonna be easy, no. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I mean, I'm sure you know with the right advices, uh, with with good common sense, uh, you can learn actually quite fast. Um, it's definitely, it's definitely not something easy. Otherwise, everybody would do it. Yeah. But uh, but yeah, I mean, uh, yeah, I don't see why you know you you wouldn't be able you know yeah. to do it so how did you deal with racing with different speeds of cars on track because you raced in multi-class series have you found that tough where you're overtaking someone but also maybe looking out for someone at the same time behind you 
I would say, firstly, I mean the. I mean, the most important thing is, you know, try to feel quite confident when you're alone testing, for example, like on track. Um, when you reach like good, let's say, like good confidence with the car, then, then you can race with the others. Uh, obviously, you know, uh, you're, uh, you're, you're sort of like perfectly responsible for what you're doing, but not, mm. not about what the others are doing. <laughs> uh, you have to expect that the others are behaving like yeah. nicely and correctly <laughs> with you. Or uh, try to anticipate, you know, if they are trying, you know, to be, you know, mm. Mm, not so correct with you. Yeah. I mean, it's it's quite <laughs> difficult, but I, I would say with experience, you know, it's it's coming quite naturally. Yeah. Mm. So back to you and your your racing. Uh, we're in the early stages of 2018, sort of. Um, how how have you found the season so far? Are you looking to reach a certain goal for the end of this season? Uh, so it's my second year with the with the Mercedes team, like in DTM. I had a very tough year let's say a very tough year you know my first year in DTM was with Mercedes was quite tough um, luckily this year you know it's running like uh, quite a lot better for me uh, much more competitive racing at the front and that is always like something like quite nice and positive I'm hoping that we I can still you know improve and develop uh, especially as a driver and uh, and have even better results I was able to I mean, clinched my first victory with Mercedes in 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 Lousy string, so that's mm -hmm. always nice. <laughs> and hopefully, uh, more will come. Yep. And you have also been racing in Formula E this season as well. How have you found changing between the two over the seasons? It's been quite a tricky dynamic. Yeah. I mean, the last uh, let's say year, I've been doing uh, Formula E, GT, DTM, uh, three different cars that requires three different driving styles. Uh, it's obviously not not easy, but um, as a driver, it's it's great because it's um, yeah, it's uh, making you adapt to every kind of cars that you're that you're driving. Uh, it is uh, it is for me a privilege, you know, to be driving you know all these cars and to have the chance to have race teams that are putting their trust in me to do this to to race with them. Uh, so it was not easy all the time, but you know, with time also there, you know, you become better. You understand, you know, uh, the different problems of the different cars. So, yeah. Great. So, um, my last question was: You've driven quite a few different cars in your career. Is there one that stands out as the one that you love driving the most, for example? Definitely Formula One. I had the chance to test it at some point in my career, and uh, it, it is the, by far the most brutal, more wild, more extreme race car I've ever I've ever driven, and it's uh, as a driver, it's the it's the top, and uh, was very happy and. Yeah, I still remember actually the experience. That's awesome. Well, thank you for doing the interview. Appreciate it. So there we are, another interview with another DTM driver. So once again, this was done in accordance with my university project. So the idea was I was going to be getting as many answers as possible from as many of the DTM drivers as possible to help me out in my university project. But I know that in reality, these whole interviews aren't going to be shown in the university project because we've got so many interviews. We're only going to have like tiny snippets of each one. We're trying to you know hand pick the best bits in a way so that's why I guess I wanted to upload the whole video for you because I think it's really good to understand more about these drivers careers and so many of these drivers maybe obviously if you're a Formula 1 fan you maybe wouldn't have heard of but in a lot of ways these guys have been connected to Formula 1 they've been racing and also probably beating a lot of the DTM drivers so these guys have a huge amount of talent but unfortunately in a lot of ways they didn't have the budget behind them to get to Formula 1 so I think that's a a really interesting interview there with Eduardo Mortara. More interviews are to come. Um, I've got quite a few to, to go still, so hopefully you guys are enjoying them. I, I certainly am enjoying um, uploading them because I think it's something different and because I think whilst I like doing the other sort of videos, it's really nice to something a little bit different and do uh, interviews with professional drivers and understand more about how they made it all the way to the top. So yeah let me know in the comment section down below if there's any other people you'd like me to interview in the future uh, of course formula one drivers are going to be particularly tricky to get a hold of but possibly reserve drivers in formula one are an option and uh, maybe just other drivers that are racing in the top levels of motorsport so that's pretty much it thank you for watching as always hopefully you did enjoy the video please go and remember to check out my friend george who edited this and my friend john who did the camera operations for this project their instagrams are on the screen right now and they both appreciate maybe just a bit of support i'd appreciate uh, you can go and just at least check them out um john does a lot of uh, photography for car motorsports you might enjoy that uh, hopefully enjoy that if you enjoy my videos 
boys and George is a friend from university so we've got a lot of sort of camera work and all that sort of stuff going up on his Instagram. So anyway, hopefully you enjoyed it. Thanks again for watching. I'll see you guys around soon for another video. It's Blanks and I'm out of here. Goodbye.